Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Today we've got an awesome record to look at. I think all records should be either colored vinyl, picture discs, or something fun, something unique and different. This is a 1983-1984 uh, picture disc from the Rainbow Bright franchise. My wife remembers this series fondly and actually had this record as a kid, although hers wasn't the picture disc, she had the regular version. And when we saw this, we had to grab it. It is so cool. It's showing its, it's, showing its age a little bit, but it's uh, still really, really cool. I love this stuff from my childhood, stuff that really brings me back to the 80s. I just love it. So let's take a close look inside and out, and then we'll give it a listen to Rainbow Bright, Paint a Rainbow in Your Heart, with the Rainbow Bright logo. I love the bright yellows and oranges and just the colors. Absolutely beautiful. 33 and a third RPM. And picture discs, a lot of you expressed some interest in the uh, vintage picture disc that we reviewed, the Cowboy one, a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago. Uh, you were surprised that picture discs went back that far. There's actually, if you Google search Vogue picture discs, V-O-G-U-E, there were picture discs going back to the 40s and maybe even earlier than that, but they could actually do it in shellac as well. A modern picture disc like this one is literally t is clear vinyl and sand with sandwiched in between those two layers of clear vinyl is a piece of paper, the sticker, the picture, not a sticker, the picture. And apparently the groove depth isn't quite as, well, the grooves aren't as deep as a regular record to accommodate the, uh, the label, the picture in between. So the sound quality isn't technically as good. I personally can't tell the difference from a picture disc versus a non-picture disc. Let's look at the back here. Awesome. I just love the colors. Got some great music on here. We're gonna listen to it. Just love it, love it, love it. It's in pretty dang good shape too. This, this is a pretty common package design for a picture disc. Obviously, so you can see the disc. This one is cut right there. So that's not, you know, the best situation, but let's pull it out here. It's a 12 inch vinyl record, 1984 Hallmark Cards Incorporated. 63156, this is side two. I'm showing you side two because it's the better of the two sides in terms of the coloring. Um, you can see on the edge here, just a little bit of yellowing, but that's you know to be expected. Anything that's a kid's record or a children's record, it's not a miracle if it, survive, if it survives, but it's definitely intriguing because oftentimes the kids' products weren't treated as well as the adult ones. So flipping it over here, you can see the reverse side. The colors aren't quite, actually the colors of the actual disc I think are fine. I think it's just the vinyl is a little bit more yellowed. So the white, is it supposed to be up like that? I guess, no, that's the right way. Uh, isn't quite as dynamic because that the, the vinyl is yellowing a little bit. And then um, it is cupped a little bit. So there's kind of a bowl effect. Um, so the edges are a little bit higher on the sides. Let's see if you can see it from the, you can kind of see it. So it's a little bit of warpage, but at the same time, you guys, this is awesome. This is awesome. Records should be cool. They should be visual. They should be tactile. And this one absolutely is. And yeah, that side, oh, isn't that cool? I just love it. It's super cool. Okay, so we want a record player to listen to this on where we can really see what we're listening to. So for that, we'll be using the Crosley Revolution, the first gen one. This is the one with the built-in speaker. It actually has the ceramic cartridge, not the magnetic like the second gen, but it's just a better built unit. Very similar to a sound burger. So we will go ahead and play some clips here and there on this device. And I'm gonna flip over here so I can cue up some music for you, for your entertainment. And we'll just kind of drop the needle in a few different places and give it a listen. Awesome. Happy times. Carefree days. Triggers a lot of memories for a lot of folks. 
I grew up with this stuff. So cool. Oh, and there's the end. Kind of hard to see where the run out groove is there. Is this auto stop? Nope, just keep spinning. This is a cool turntable, it really, really is. I was looking for something fun to listen to this on, something we haven't used in a while. I was like, hey, the revolution, we should do this. Have you guys gone back to collect the records of your childhood? Tell me down in the, in the comments below. Did you have Rainbow Bright? Did you have other records and what were they? And have you been able to find them? There's a few records that I remember having as a kid. This is not one of them. This is from my wife's history. She had this, or like I said, the non-picture disc version. But there were certainly some records, and I've actually come across them too and passed up on them. I'm like, what? I thought, thinking back about that the other day, like three years ago, I came across a couple records I had as a kid. And the, but that particular day, I was really searching for something specific. And I was like, well, this is cool, but I'm going to pass up on it. And I really regret doing that because... I would, I, why not, you know? And one of them was a picture disc as well, but it wasn't, that. I'll save that until I find it again and I'll show that to you. And we can listen to that one together too. But here's side, actually this is side A, I think. If you're like me, when you hear songs from your childhood, it just a rush of emotions and memories comes back. And we're just listening on the built-in little speaker on the bottom for better sound quality. We could obviously connect this to a, an, an actual stereo system or powered speakers. Enjoy the scenic field, decay and rot. I wish I could play more of this. Very 80s. So cool. So, so. That's pretty much it. Beautiful record. I love it. I don't think there could be too many picture discs in the world because, again, why not? Why not? I mean, it's an aesthetic, tactile media. Why not make it fun? Why not make it colorful? Why not make it interesting and this record definitely does that so again guys tell me in the comments down below about the records that you're on the hunt for or maybe ones that you have found that really you know records tell me about records that really you know have some positive memories from your childhood and uh yeah it's just super cool to find this stuff you know it's probably out there on ebay less likely you're going to find something like this on like you know in a thrift store or, you know, Craigslist or something like that. This is probably something you're going to have to go out and find. But once you, some stuff is worth paying a little bit more. And this was not expensive. This is like 10 bucks or something like that with free shipping. So you really can't beat it. It's really, I think it's a, I think it's a good deal. So anyway, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Happy record hunting. We will see you tomorrow.